What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video from Sealing Tech UK guys. So while the Galaxy S20 may have been one of the highest profile releases of last year, it was more of a modest mid-ranged Galaxy A51 that proved to be one of 2020's most popular smartphones. Uh, as reported by various press releases, beaten only by the iPhone 11, which had a few months head start, uh, having technically launched at the tail end of 2019. Um, it's the A51's popularity that makes the emergence of the Galaxy A52 a significant and uh, such an anticipated release date. Everything we've now seen and learnt about the phone, while it isn't rewriting the rule book, guys, the A52 looks like it's it brings subtle and tasteful design updates and a competent hardware setup to the table in much the same fashion as this year's Galaxy S21 already has. So Samsung has been really busy with a whole host of different uh, launch dates for different sort of mobile phones. It's actually packed the market with a whole bunch of new phones coming towards us. Um, the original Galaxy S21 launched uh, at the price of £329. Again, guys, for the A52, we're looking at a similar price of about £350. Uh, for the 4G version and the A52 5G version, possibly a hundred pound extra around about the 550 560 mark again guys these are just sort of speculative prices and speculative uh, speculation specs at the moment but they are sort of fairly close uh, to the real thing now release date guys some people are saying the 17th of march this year some people are saying the 26th of march but you can be pretty certain it's going to be towards the very next few weeks it's going to be very close and i would have thought before the end of march this year again guys the a52 is a mid-range phone uh, priced 350 to 450 um, and it comes it's just like a watered down version of the s galaxy s series the s21 uh, it offers much of the same quality and top end specs uh, camera wise and also hardware wise as its bigger brother and obviously for half the price even less than half the price guys that's what one of the secrets to this phone's popularity is it offers very very good technical specification at a very very reasonable price so the average person can afford a 350 pound phone that performs um, just as good as a 1200 pound flagship so guys they're going to retain the ip67 water resistance we're looking at a 6.5 inch super amulet display now guys there's going to be slight differences between the a52 4g and the 5g versions um, even the 4g version will sport 90 hertz super fast refresh rate now as you know guys uh, phone manufacturers have been pushing these super fast refresh rates on the screen as it's in popular demand by the public so um, the 4g version will have the 90 hertz refresh rate while the 5g a52 will push it up to 120 hertz super fast refresh rate uh, in display fingerprint scanning will return uh, of course uh, on both phones that shouldn't be an issue a 4500 milliamp power so mid-range sort of decent sized battery will be available and 25 watt fast charging i would have thought and the good news guys is some of the leaks have reported that they are actually providing a brick charger a brick uh, phone charger with the phone is coming inside the box so that's good news uh, so you don't have to spend extra money on a separate charger and it will be a 25 watt fast charger guys so i'll just run you through the specs and also guys there's going to be a whole choice of colors available so they're calling it the awesome unpacking or the awesome release date uh, which will be the event that samsung hope to uh, launch the phone on uh, possibly 17th of march or 26th but it's going to be maybe a date in between but it's going to be definitely uh, uh towards the end of this month guys so we're looking at four different choice of colors awesome white awesome black awesome blue and awesome violet uh, I'll just run you through some quick specs, guys. The A52 4G, we're looking at a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display um, with 90 hertz refresh rate. And obviously, that's going to be pushed up to 120 hertz refresh rate on the A52 5G. Uh, full HD 1080 by 2400, so it's a 4K resolution screen, guys. We're looking at 20 by 9 aspect ratios on both phones. Both phones will sport punch hole 32 megapixel selfie cameras both phones will have a 64 64 megapixel main camera uh, 12 megapixel ultra wide 5 megapixel depth camera and a 2 megapixel micro sensor so it'll be a triple uh, possibly even a quad setup camera setup at the rear guys we're looking at 6 to 8 gb of ram um, and 128 to 256 uh, gigabyte storage 
with the um, option of a micro SD card on both Bluetooth 5 guys um, is going to be available on both phones again and we've got the in-display fingerprint scanner as well which worked pretty fast on both phones in some of the leaked videos that we've seen uh, One UI 3 and Android 11 will be retained and also guys um, as you know both phones will have Snapdragon processors. Uh, the slight difference being um, the A5240 will have a 720G Snapdragon 720G while the A5250 will sport the slightly beefier Snapdragon 750G. So again guys there's a lot to look forward to on both these phones. They are promising awesome screens, refresh, super fast refresh rates, a whole host of memory and also expand, um, um, expandable storage guys. Uh, please be kind enough to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please be kind enough to subscribe. Thank you so much for your continuous and ongoing generous support guys. We are a small channel and are utterly grateful for your generous support. Please look after yourselves and we'll catch you in the next one.